I'll come back. 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 We're getting fancy. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you did it, it's my pet pet! <laughs> yeah. Is this how we're really starting the cast today, you guys? Is <laughs> this really how we're starting? We can't have any cat. My wife! <laughs> this Thank is you all, and good night! This is a funny... <laughs> I learned something here today. Five... Four... Three... Two... One... Yeah. Hello, welcome to the barcast. The bar gets lower every single week. Your bartender for this evening will be a non-pencil. It's so hot. Enigma and a Kotaku. Standing in bathroom. Clam and Warfare. Ravage. Making love to the box fan. And my name's Flutter Breezed. This Flutter week, Bre Flutter Breast. Flutter Breast, yes. Flutter Burst. Do you, uh, do you have a nice penis? Hello. My name's Flutter Priest. Please no. stop. <laughs> <laughs> Get that in, notice, notice his mug. Ooh, what's this? Notice his ban hammer. Anyway, let's introduce our fucking guest. <laughs> we, we have a very special guest this week. He goes by the name of Invisibrony. Oh, is it my turn to talk? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello, and thank you all for having me on. I'm happy to be here. Yay. For those who are new and are listening to the broadcast for the first time, welcome. We are a community-submitted uh, podcast where you ask for the guests, we politely ask them to come on, then you ask the questions, and we force them to be miserable for two hours. Um, if you want to catch up on previous guests in the past, such as Bill Newton, Sethisto Knighty, and let's pull a name out of a hat. Majin Seiko, okay. Uh, be sure to check us out on iTunes, Google Play Music, SoundCloud, YouTube, Ponyville Live, or live on Twitch as we are right now, where you can ask the questions in our little chat. The lovely Anon Pencil will be watching the chat. Pencil, what's an example of some stuff that we will not ask our guest? This guest is fine with you asking pretty much anything, from what I can tell, but never ask about politics, never ask about religion, and do not ask about their actual location, name, or personal details like that. Uh, yeah, as far as the usual question, you know the usual question, boys. Go, go ahead. Yay. I'm in Ponyville, and I'm infinite years old. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, no, did I wreck the rules already? Well, we already have the first question. It's from Alex underscore. Yeah, and uh, apparently that's the most common question on your pet cast. From so it is. is. And so what I'm going to say is uh, stay tuned till the end if you want to hear the answer. Oh, fuck. That's clever! Why are you being clever on here? Don't you know where you are? I suppose you thought that was terribly clever. <laughs> oh, my God. So You'll have now to we're sit all... through the entire podcast to find out. Oh, and um, before we move on and talk about the drinking word, etc., um, can we all just do a shout out to Milk, who's having the big gay off with Snoo at like TrotCon or something? Yeah, what the fuck, man? Is he That's the reason this... for the Amber Alert? Probably. <laughs> hey, milk, Jesus. get gay, faggot. Milk, milk is milk. sneaking around BronyCon being all, like... He's only 2% he's only gay, though. But he's also with he, that guy. He, he's, what is he? He's fucking light gay. He's not whole gay. He's 2%. Or is he, or is he, he skim, skim gay? Is he skim gay? Skim, skim, skim gay. gay? Bagged skim, skim gay. Skim. <laughs> gay only a name. Hi, Snoo. Hi, Milk. Love you, fuckheads. Anyway. Yep. He's also hanging out with that guy who wrote My Little Dashy. So. Rock Cake well, 53 who wrote My Little Dashy? Yes, he, indeed. That Was that the dude who also wrote My Little Dashy 2 Dash Harder? Yes, actually. <laughs> that is a fact. Uh, that story changed my life. You all should go tell him how much it changed your life. Yes. He so, loves it when people tell him that. Without further ado, we have a drinking word for today, and that word is Equestria! Uh, drink. Yep. If you ever hear that word, do a drink thing. So. E e equine Tria. We've already wasted five minutes just doing the intro, so. 
Let's get to actual interview questions. Let's Invisibroni. Get down to business. Uh, few quick actual questions before we jump into the thread. Number one, uh, who are you and what do you do in the fandom? Um, I am Invisibroni. Um, I joined the fandom a few years back, about two, two and a half years or so. Um, and I joined a community called Equestria Amino. It begins. Yoink. Mm. Uh, what that is, is it's a, an app you can get on your phone. Uh, they're actually developing a web version of it, too, which is kind of sort of working now. But uh, if you have Android, iPhone, you can go on, download the Amino app, get in the community. And I started out there as a regular member. It was actually the first participation I ever had in the fandom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then over time, um, I got noticed by the leaders, like for reporting, uh, you know, rule breaking stuff. And like, hey, do you want to become a member of the mod team? I'm like, sure. And over the next year and year and a half, I ended up uh, becoming a leader. And then eventually, the leader retired, and I took over the community as the head leader. Yay! So, so Equestria Amino. Oh God. Drink. <laughs> you see why I picked the word? Yeah. That was a good choice. You did good, kiddo. Yes, I did. Um, so I took over as leader, and we're up to about just over like almost 160,000 members now. It's a great community for like public chatting, posting your you know your creative writing, your artwork, your comics, uh, anything pony related, basically. Uh, it is one of the very, very few safe for work places on the internet, and. Uh, we actually take that very seriously because mostly because honestly, like, I, I don't have an issue with not safe for work stuff. But, You're here, <laughs> but um, <laughs> exactly. Um, basically, the the amino guidelines prohibit anything explicit, and so we took that to the extreme when when, we, when the community began. It's like basically, let's make this one of the few places that it's you know it's safe for kids to come and be a part of a community related to pony stuff. There are thousands of places you can go on the internet and participate in r34 stuff this is not it right totally so, fair yeah exactly and, and it, it's, it's honestly shocking how few people respect that rule and they're like but it's part of the fandom and it's part of all fandoms well i'm like um this is this is not the place for it like <laughs> get out <laughs> right 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 anyways yes that's who i am that's what i do i i run the well i i help run the i do have a team of you know co-leaders and curators who assist me in you know uh, preventing art theft, making sure artwork gets credit, preventing inappropriate role plays, images, and stuff like that. So, all right, cool. Uh, the next question is: How did you personally get into the fandom? Oh, see now, this is the ironically funny part. Is uh, I, like I said, I've been on I've been on the internet for a long time. Um. And I'm familiar with fandoms. Uh, I have been a, I was a part of the furry fandom for a long time and kind of, you know, skimmed the out. Uh, I wasn't really uh, participatory in that for quite a long time. And when My Little Pony started becoming a big thing, I, I knew what it was. And I knew that, you know, if I looked at it and I enjoyed it, I'm like, this is going to become a big part of my life. So I said, I don't need that. Nope. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. And then a few years back, I happened to watch Smile HD. Oh! I love Smile HD. Oh. Yeah, so I watched Smile HD, and I was crying with laughter. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, so I watched that like like 20 times in a row. I'm like, that was the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. And it piqued my curiosity. I was like, well, what other parody stuff is out there? And so for literally an entire year, I sought out and watched every piece of Pony parody fan animation that was out there. I did not watch the show. I just watched all of the fan projects. Right. Until it got to a point where I was not getting some of the jokes because I was not familiar with the source material. Like, it was still funny, but I'm like, I'm sure it'd be funnier if I knew what the show was about. So... I started watching season one, and then season two, and then season three. It, it was at the end of season three at the time I joined, so whatever year that was, like they had just completed season three. And it was all downhill from there. Exactly. Damn you, Equestria! Whoops. Oh shit! <laughs> That's another. All right. Hooray. I was thirsty. Shut up. 
<laughs> Who's drinking their nice cool drink with clinking ice cubes? That would be me. Also yeah. me. Yeah. Also, uh, to to preclude this question, I am drinking horse vodka. Yay! So it's is called... that vodka extracted from horses? It. it I. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking horse juice. <laughs> I, I will post horse you a. Juice. If you want to post a picture of it, I will give you a picture of it right now. Hold on. Um, mouse food. Horse juice sounds like horse steroids. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, here, here is what I'm drinking. Uh, what channel should I post it in for you? Uh, hmm. behind, 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 behind the counter. counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our. There you go. White Lightning Max. Ooh. Uh -huh. 100 proof, 50% content vodka. That looks and... so cheap. It is very cheap. <laughs> But it's very strong. <laughs> that looks so cheap. Just just the pause of disappointment there was really beautiful. I, I, I bet the bottle is made out of plastic and not glass. Well, that that is a Mickey, so yes, it is plastic. The the uh, the, the bigger ones are made of glass. Like the mascot looks like Ariane. It's all <laughs> white. Oh my god. That's because it just got hit by lightning. All right. Uh, let's take the next question then. And this one's kind of, uh, it's setting up for a very obvious answer. But, um, what would you consider your favorite part of the fandom? Uh, in a specific online community, the fanfics, cons, music, what, what really is kind of your favorite home? Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's much of a home, but my, my favorite part of the fandom is the fan-made parody community. Like, say, Anthology, Smile HD, um... Mm. Friendship is witchcraft. All all that stuff. Like I love parody material. I, I love humor. So anything that's just mocking the crap out of the source material is just it's it's ambrosia to me. Okay, cool. Uh, number four. If so there's one thing that you could say to your followers, fans, haters, friends on Amino, what would it be? Love and tolerate, bitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can only do one of those things at a, at a time. <laughs> uh, if you want to be more specific, just... We're here for a good time, not a long time, so let's all have a good time. The sun don't shine every day. Cool. We're heading for a montage. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the final question. Um... You know, we, we care very much about uh, making sure it's a very comfortable, very non-controversial podcast. And now we're going to make sure that you ruin some friendships. Who Yay. is best pony? Fluttershy. Good I'll man. Allow, I'll allow it. Good I'll man. Allow it. Would you like to hear the reasoning behind it or no? Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm only counting main six. Uh, other... I, this question usually revolves around main six, so I'm, I'm going with the main six best pony, which is Fluttershy. The reason being is she has had literally the most noticeable and uh, permanent character development out of all of them. I don't know. I'm still she, waiting for she, her. To... She has made the most progress that sticks around. Like she, has, hmm. she does kind of revert to being shy once in a while, but even when she does, she kind of kicks out of it really quickly now. I'm still waiting for her to shorten her tail length because she drags that thing on the dirt and everything. It's got to be dirty and covered in twigs. What you is know that? you're right. What does that have to do with character development? She's dirty. <laughs> Damn right and she's dirty. And then when you dirty. spit gum on the ground. You spit gum on the ground. <laughs> you look yes, at something being dirty. Fucking pot meat kettle. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Quick idea. Fluttershy spits gum on the ground. But I'm where, not where, dirty. Where, 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 where else would you put it, Twilight? <laughs> I, I can only imagine the amount of things that you guys, the three of you, have for stories right now because of you guys fucking hanging out right now. But <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm but in the, her. They're all in the bathroom, and we don't want to hear them. I'm oh, in yeah, the I'm bathtub. Right. I'm in her bathtub right now. It's true. Hence the reverb we can hear from you. All right, well, let's go out to the thread now. We got questions from Alex underscore, who starts with question number one in Visibroni. Um, yes. Can you believe what your eyes? I can't even. Who was phone? Yes. 
It's a great pizza pie. <laughs> Number two. Isn't it such a beautiful day? It actually is a fantastically beautiful day where I live. It's it's finally not suffocatingly hot, but still sunny and light and breezy. I hate it. All right. Uh, number th <laughs> What? It's like, anyway, I hate it. <laughs> number three. Was, yeah. What's your funniest anecdote? This one. I can't, tell if, I can't tell if I can't tell if that was a roast or I oh, yeah, like I don't know how to take that. My funniest anecdote. Would would you be more specific with that question? Um, what would be the funniest thing that's happened to you at a convention? Oh, okay, that's that um funniest or most embarrassing? Ooh, <laughs> your choice. Um <laughs> uh, 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 hmm. Uh, uh, mm. Damn, that's a tough one. Um, that one caught me off guard. I'm usually not very, very often rendered speechless. That one's kind of got me like stuck between a few things. G give me a minute. I'll come back to that one. Sure thing. What's What's one thing when you close your eyes for the night and you're about to go to sleep and your brain is like, "Hey, Invisa, you Invisa Brony, you remember that thing you did back when you were a kid that you can't change and they probably don't care about?" Yeah, that oh. was that was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, actually, actually, uh, as far as the anecdote one goes, here here's one from last BabsCon. Okay. Um, do you know who uh, Brony Inspector is? I mm -hmm. the name is familiar. Uh, he ran the uh, great and slumberful Trixie's pajama party at the previous BabsCon. He was also helping with like the horse uh, MLP party last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's a friend of mine. I actually, like, I stayed at his house before and after the convention. Um, this so it didn't really happen at the convention, but it was before the convention. I'd been there for a few days, and the night before the convention, um, you know, it, I'm on vacation. I'd been drinking all day. Just, just you know, like a, a beer an hour. I wasn't, like, hammered drunk. But then in the evening, we went out and we got some rum. And so I switched from beer to rum, and I had put it in a big glass with lots of ice, and so the glass had like started sweating on the outside. And I was in his in his bedroom at the computer, and I set the glass down. He's like, "Dude, don't put your glass on my desk." I'm like, "Okay." So I went to go pick it up, and since it was all sweaty and cold, when I went to pick it up, it just slipped right out of my hand and poured on his brand new hundred dollar um, analog keyboard. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm like. I'm like, oh my god! He's like, dude, what the hell? Like, we're we're, we're still cool, but like, he was like super pissed off. He's like, oh, dude, you're so drunk, you spilled it. It's not because I'm drunk. It just it was just wet and it slipped. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I ended up I ended up giving him um, two signed MLP trading cards uh, by Tara Strong and Andrea Libman as uh, Aww. recompense. <laughs> There so I mean, it, I I didn't replace the keyboard, but I gave him something of equivalent value that he might at least enjoy. <laughs> I just I felt I felt so bad about it. Like, <laughs> I, I I didn't even realize Enigma. it had spilled. Enigma, what the? F will you stop fapping, Enigma? Please. Oh no, I was. I, know, I know it's a hot story and all, but. <laughs> yes, seriously. What were you even doing? Nice. I'm wiping my the top of my laptop of dust, and I guess my thumb was running over the mic. <laughs> it sounded like some squelching, which is what got me concerned. Squelch. I guess I, I guess I spilled so much, so much of my drink that it, it leaked into the stream. It 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 is that much of a shit post today. It seems. Yeah. yeah, but no, I I didn't even realize it had spilled on the keyboard. I thought it had just spilled on the desk and like under the keyboard. And then the next right. day, like, yeah, it's it's not even working, dude. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Uh... Like, I'll, I'll I'll pay you for it. And he's like. Don't just don't worry about it. We went to the convention and then we got back from the convention. I'm like, well, I've got these signed cards. I'm like, dude, like these are yours, man. Like, take them. Like, I, I'll I'll replace the keyboard if you want, but for now, these are yours. Like, just I feel so horrible about it. That's like du it's like dueling level stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a Twilight Sparkle and I think a Pinkie Pie card signed by Tara Strong and Andrea Libman. Oh, it's actually really cool. Yeah. Uh, number four. What is your most shameful secret? 
that you want to share, of course. I have been on the bar cast. God damn it. <laughs> God you, damn. you asked for that one. <laughs> yeah. Played like a fiddle. That's the most shameful secret I'm willing to admit. Uh, and I already told you the keyboard one, so... <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Alex's fifth question is, how do I find love? Uh, turn your head left. All I, saw, all, all I saw was the bathtub. I saw my drink, so that's nice. I yep, saw... You, you, you have found your one true love. <laughs> I turned left and I saw a game of, of Jew on the Grudge. I see a tree. <laughs> uh, you, you're saying you wouldn't fuck Jew on the Grudge? Well, oh god, what is her name? Uh, Kimiko? No, wait, uh, that's the girl from Shala Showdown. Uh, also, really quickly here, James Baxter! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think it so <laughs> loudly every time I see his name. James Baxter. Yes, thank you. <laughs> also, also, real quick, guys. Um, uh, Line Monkey asked me to say something earlier, and I have not got it. But apparently, in uh, she'll have to remind me where. But there's uh, for those of you who were at BabsCon last year, they sort of stepped up their game on the um, sp not, special needs is not the word. Uh, God damn it! What's the word I'm looking for that's not offensive? Any uh, cap? Uh, those with social difficulties. Uh, it's just the whole thing, the, um... Neuroatypical. Oh, oh phys physical, neurotypical, like, the... Boni Bonita was the, um, the mascot for it, but she's hidden in yeah, a bunch, she's... like, Easter egged in, like, throughout the, the con material. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's a pony in a wheelchair, those wheelchair things. Yeah, she's really cool. Uh, Line Monkey is also really cool. She did a lot of great things for the, uh... God damn! It, I feel so terrible that I, I I can't remember the the term they were using for the official term. I think we've interacted with Line Monkey. Uh, off yeah, and she's on. she's she's got the borg the the borgle. Yes. Oh. Borgle. Yeah. No, she's always so nice. Oh no, she's amazing. She was my roommate at BabsCon. Oh. Except except accessibility department. That's what it was. Thank you. Accessibility. Hmm. All right, she said it. But uh, no, she she's a fantastic person. She was driving uh, a lot to get a lot of the accessibility stuff. Like you said, like there was the 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 calm room that was at BabsCon, um, as well as you know the actual people with uh, physical disabilities having uh, their service animals respected and looked after as well as a whole, whole bunch of other stuff I won't get into. I'll, I'll let her talk about it at some point, but hmm. uh, she, she's a great, great uh, person for Babscon. And other conventions, too. I couldn't agree more myself. Um, you can try. <laughs> I agree to an uncomfortable degree. <laughs> it rhymes, so I'll accept it. Perfect. Equestria! Oh, Yay, shit. drinking. <laughs> uh, I've been drinking without saying Equestria, so I thought I'd say Equestria so we could all drink when I say Equestria. The next question comes from Delafreferg. Um, What's your favorite kind of hat and why? Ooh, um, baseball hat because it's reversible. It's good for sunny weather in the front when you can't see and rainy weather in the back when you don't want cold water dripping down your neck. It's a party it's in the front a... and business in the back. It's the mullet of hats. It's kind of a weird <laughs> way. Any, any, hat, any hat is reversible unless you're a little bitch. I'll reverse your hat. <laughs> That's kind of a weird way to mispronounce fedora. <laughs> have you not seen? Have you not done a snapback fedora? I tip my trilby to you, sir. Yes, oof, good. Oof. <laughs> you, see, that's, you see, that's how you know in the 40s that they were going to duel each other because before they got their pistols out, they would turn their uh, wide brim fedoras around. They would du 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 duel? Yeah, and then someone would get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more questions. Motherfuckers being right. sent to the shadow realm left and right. Am, now, I, am, we... I ask, am I ask answering all of Rundown Jet's questions? Why, yes, you are. Okay, well, I'm looking at them now. So first off, what is your favorite meal, snack, or food stuff that is very... I don't know if this is very unhealthy, but I'm going to say California rolls because of the mayo. 
Okay. The bayonets. Ma like they're, they're, not, they're not extremely unhealthy, but like in mass quantities, they are definitely fattening. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the next um, question is, what is the biggest or weirdest fear that you have? Uh, I'll say biggest, not weirdest, and it's spiders. Uh, not because, like, I don't, like, run and scream at the sight of spiders, but if one Ooh. gets on me, uh, God help you if you're standing next to me because you might get an elbow in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I have you... been I, I've been covered in spiders. Oof. That's I, not good. Uh, That's not fun. How, nope, how the fuck uh, did that happen? Well, I, was, <laughs> I was playing night tag with some friends of mine, and... Mm -hmm. For those of you not familiar with night tag, it's, you know, you're obviously at night, and what you do is you go and hide in a neighborhood area within a certain defined radius. At night. And, and the, you know, the last person to get caught is the winner. And I went and hid in my friend's backyard and, uh, in a swinging bench. If for those of you who know what those are, like, there's, you know, a metal frame, and there's a bench, and it's got chains, and it swings. And there's a tarp over it, so I'm like, ah, oh, this is the perfect place to hide. I just didn't know the tarp had been there for three years, and that it was home to a bajillion insects. Ooh, not mm -mm. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm sitting there in the dark going, hee hee hee, I'm so clever. <laughs> and, and then my eyes adjusted to the light, and I just saw thousands of insects moving. And I'm like, uh-oh. And then something stung me, and then something bit me, and I ran screaming out into the street under the streetlights, and I looked down, and I was covered by, like, fist-sized spiders. Ooh. And, and, and so, so you were like that. This, this actually might go back to my funniest and uh, most embarrassing anecdote, actually, now that I think about it, is that I started ripping my clothes off in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and running to my friend's house going, Oh my god, there's spiders everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I knocked his front door like off the hinges and bust into his basement shower and like I was in there like the crying game going, I'm covered in spiders! <laughs> so, for a moment, you were like that guy in the movie The Money who got surrounded by the Beatles. Oh, it was terrifying. Mm. It was terrifying. I, w I was actually... um. If if you ever been to high school, you get those you know those grads like grad whatever year sweaters like the hoodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was wearing it that night, and I I washed that thing a thousand times. But every time I put it on, it felt like there were spiders in the hood. I had to throw it away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> uh, qu question three. Bad. Question three. Why is bag milk the best milk? Because it comes from Canada, like me. Oh boy, pencil. Okay. Oh, sorry. Would you like to say okay. something about this? Okay, okay. Sorry, location. First, first of all, first of all, how dare you? Second of all, <laughs> no. Sorry, I, I know you said no. no locations, but Canada's pretty vague, so I'm gonna I'm gonna defend that one. <laughs> you have beaver tails and poutine, oh. and you have the goal, the goal to have bagged milk as well. Like, you had a good thing going, Canada, and you cut. You guys haven't had a Stanley Cup. You know, what's funny is I actually, as a Canadian, have not seen bagged milk in, like, ten years. Really? Oh, that's nice to know. Maybe it's going away. Fuck They're me. converting. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, <laughs> the reason they used to do it, and at least as far as I could tell, is back in the day, it was really easy to package. And most people in those days had... I can't tell you why exactly, but every household I went to in my neighborhood had these jugs that were the perfect size for a bag of milk. Maybe it's because they only sold it in bags. That might have been the answer. But, but it is, you bought this bag, you cut a little triangle thing off it, you stuck it in this little jug, and you poured it out, and done. And, and quite frankly, even nowadays, like with the four liter or four, four liter or gallon jugs or whatever, the hard plastic is not as degradable as the plastic bags were. So, I mean, environmentally, it's probably still better, but it's not as convenient. All right. Number four, what is your one annoying habit? So a habit that you find annoying or something you do that annoys people? Smoking. Oh. You are a smoker. Yes. Yeah, it annoys me and it annoys other people. What is your favorite brand of death sticks? I I don't have a favorite brand. I I generally buy what's 
cheapest, but not terrible tasting. Ah, okay, all right. Yeah. You know, this makes me wonder if in Equestria, does Celestia endorse cigarettes? <laughs> it tastes like the sun. All right. Number five. Why they get cancer from that one, they can just get cancer by singing uh, the terrible songs. No, I'll, I'll say this for now. Skip number five for the moment because I need to think about that. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Number six. How would you describe yourself using only three words? Not a brony. <laughs> wow. I'm okay. joking. God damn it. Time for you to leave. No. Sorry. Right. How <laughs> would I describe myself using only three words? Um, equestria, Equestria, Equestria. Excellent. Let's drink. <laughs> Yay! Drinky so time. You're a, land, you're a land mass kingdom for horses. Yeah. All right. Um, actual answer for that question. How would I describe myself using only three words? Mm. Dedicated pony supporter. Yay. All right. Blankety, blankety, blank. Number seven. If you have a most hated song, show or otherwise, what is it and why? You gotta carry, you gotta share. It's a terrible song and Pinky should die. I mean, that outfit she was wearing is good, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 this was not about the outfit, it's about the song. <laughs> the All outfit right. was fine, the episode was fine, that song was terrible, and I... Oh, I'm so mad. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> care. I am, for one, a fan of our most racist episode in the show. <laughs> Again, not not a comment on the episode. I just hate that song. It was a terrible song. <laughs> All right. Next question. If your life thus far was a movie, what would be the title of it? Um, Ambitions Unfulfilled. Oh, that's sad. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> The feels! The feels! Waste of film. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Depression cast, where we're all sad now. <laughs> no. Welcome to the Depression cast, where over my second bottle of horse vodka. <laughs> Number nine. Just how big is your porn folder? Uh, non-existent. Ooh. There's this thing called the internet that saves everything for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You want to switch? You want to trade folders? Do you look at my stuff? I'm gonna... You're welcome to look at all my stuff. It doesn't exist. You just got to remember to clear your internet history once in a while. Well, I'm, I'm assuming they mean saved, saved things, which again... There's no, I, I don't find any point in saving anything because um, it exists on the internet. Yes. All right. And if, and, if the, and if the internet goes away, um, we'll be back to the, you know prehistoric times when you had to go to Seven Elevens and buy pornography. <laughs> I remember when I used to. Sa I remember when I used to save things in the uh, favorites folder, but that was around the time when I didn't understand how computers worked and that the profile was public. <laughs> And that Oops. anyone in my family could look into the favorites <laughs> folder and see literally the 35 different videos from various porn sites. <laughs> that I'm fucking sick. And, and it's really, really, really awkward when your dad goes, I like that one too. <laughs> Son, <laughs> I've raised you well. Hilariously, it was my dad that saw it. He's doing maintenance on the computer and he works in IT, by the way. And yeah, that's, not, like, that's not hilarious. Well. That's inevitable. <laughs> And he, he's like, this computer's really slow, why is it? And then he looks in the favorites folder for some reason, and he starts reading off the book. Yeah. And, and, and let, let, me, let me answer that question for you, or not even question, let me answer that statement for you. Uh, your dad worked in IT, and when he found out the computer was slow, I'm, I'm guessing he knew exactly why it was slow, because he had a yes. teenage son. And yes, we're like, let's just, let's just see what he's up to. And then, and then he looks in the favorites folder while I'm there, and I, and I say, I have no idea what that is. And then he immediately follows that up with, ah, something must have gotten on here, let me get rid of this. Yeah, and, and he's like, he, yeah, something he, must have gotten on here, like my teenage son. Yes. Exactly, and I look back on it, he's like, he knew, he fucking knew. Yeah. 
All right. Then oh, next... oh. Uh, also, I'm I'm gonna also um, again amend my earlier statement about funny anecdotes. Yes. Um, if you were a parent and you had a child who spent, let's say, half an hour to forty five minutes in the bathroom every day, what would you assume they were doing? Fapping. Taking yes. a fat ogre shit. Well, okay, uh, to be I, fair, I, 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 with this is Flam who takes like <laughs> seven poops a day. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going. I'm going with the first answer. Okay. Um, uh, because I used to live in a household where my parents fought a lot, and I used to like to read a lot, and I used to go to the bathroom and use that time to go and read a book, and it didn't occur to me until I was like almost thirty that. They must have assumed I was fapping the entire time I was in there. <laughs> but I never was. I was just reading books on the toilet. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, well, like, it, it, it never even... Because they'd always bang. They were like, are you done yet? You need to come out of there. I'm like, nope, I'm reading. <laughs> right, reading. Reading a Playboy. No, <laughs> no. I, right. I won't get in... I, I will not get into details, but... Of all of those times, I was literally just sitting on there, like, reading science fiction fantasy novels. and Because getting... because it was the only time I could be left alone. <laughs> You're ah. so vanilla. Oh, my God. <laughs> getting some good grippage, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Jammer now has some questions. I Number see that. one. Um, can I have the Wi-Fi password? No. Damn it. Number two. If you were given four hundred thousand dollars a year, would you give Violon a place to stay at or near your home? Yes. Aww. Uh, let's... Uh, that that, that, that nope, does. Does he know who Violon is, though? Uh, again, I was about to say that does come with restrictions. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying. Yeah, you can live in my home with tentacle bacon pancakes. What the hell's happening now? <laughs> Oh, you know, Priest is just being shit and messing everything up. Damn it, Priest! Um, uh, but yeah, 400 grand a year, uh, I'd be willing to put up with quite a lot. Cool. Um, the next question is, would you hug Thingpone, kiss them goodnight, and tell them that everything's going to be alright? Which, uh, I, of course, refers I, to these pictures. I... Yeah, show me the pictures, because I don't know who Thingpone is. Oh, oh, um... I, I will say yes on the caveat that they will not bite my throat out. Aww. What I mean, if there I, are no, what, there what if no I, guarantees in love. There are no guarantees in love. But what if I told you she I'm not made... saying I love them, I'm just saying that I, I, I don't... I'm not discriminatory. I'm just saying that, you know, like... If I'm not gonna die by doing these things, I'm 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 100 behind it. Like I don't I don't discriminate. Now, what what if the deal was sweetened and it was revealed that she gives amazing head? What what? What are you then doing? Then I then, then I want three hundred thousand a year. Wait, what? You'll, you'll drop a hundred thousand. <laughs> you'll drop a hundred thousand. I I mean I mean five. I mean five. <laughs> yeah, you fuck it. I'll take that. If that's worth a hundred thousand dollars right there, right? Fuck. <laughs> Oh I'm going to get banned from Equestria Amino. Equestria, Equestria, Equestria! They can't ban you if you're the leader. Fair enough. I also Wait, said it four might... times, so Wait, start drinking. Oh. <laughs> Alright, number four. Has the disappointment kicked in yet? No. Good. Five. Will all these questions bother you? Yes. Good. But not a lot. <laughs> good. Er, that's good. -er. What's Perfect. my favorite non MLP franchise? Oh, that's a tough one. That actually is a really tough one. RK, are you still in the chat? I want clarification on that. Um, it doesn't seem like RK is around, but. Normally, it's just like, um, you know, there's a show you really like or a game series you really like. Okay, fair enough. Um, favorite non-MLP franchise? Lion King. 
Cool. And, 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 and I will state this does not include the Lion Guard, which is complete shit. All right. Is there actually still a fandom, like a legit fandom surrounding the Lion King? Yes, there is. Dude. Have you not uh, seen? Have you not surfed through Derby, uh, through uh, DeviantArt lately? There's yeah. always Lion King OCs. Yeah, I, 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 Lion King is one of the things that got me into the furry fandom back when it first was a thing. I'm sure it got hey. a lot. Of, I'm sure it got a what, lot. Of was it not? There. After was Nala. it Nala's fuck me eyes? Yes, it was. I guess. Hundred percent. Do you want to fuck the lion? No, not really. But I, I mean, come on, you have to admit, she does give that Simba that. Oh, 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 yeah, no, she does. Like, there yeah. was that, like, this is happening. Um, sexy times are imminent. <laughs> Your brain's like, you got, you, you go fuck the lion. You're like, why? Your brain's like, you gotta. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Nala Simba though? Because there's only one male in the entire pack. Well, again, here, here, here's the, uh, let me give you the breakdown on that uh, genetic mishmash. Oh boy. Uh, lion prides are generally incestuous. Mainly because there is usually one male in a pride and they meet with all the lionesses. So even the offspring, if they don't get eaten by the male of the pride, are cousins, sisters, nieces, ne like they are related in some way. So at at the very worst Nala was Simba's cousin. Because either either Nala was Mufasa's daughter, as was Simba Mufasa's son, or Nala was Scar's daughter, and so she was her cousin. Or his cousin. Oh my god. This yeah, makes like, this makes like, Lion King a lot more interesting. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like, want to feel and, the love tonight anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and any way you look at it, like that is the least incestuous explanation is that Nala was Scar's daughter. Like that's that is as 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 far away from incest as you can get. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Does that mean then then after Mustafa died, after Scar was killed and Simba became the head of the pride, did he fuck his mom? Mm, I'm not going to say that happened, because there were a lot of lionesses around, but I'm also not going to say that didn't happen, because... No, no, no. Because that's just a theory. Not a Lion King theory. Nala was Rafiki's yeah. daughter. Have you actually... Well, seen... you know what they say, fucking Akuna Matata, right? Fucking... Have, no, have you actually seen the, um... What's it called? The, uh... Oh, God damn it. What's what's the the guys who do the the lip sync and the trail uh, the trailers? What's it? The honest trailers. Yes, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, but but Nala is like, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. No. Also, uh, real quick before we get back to the questions, Flutter Priest, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Did I not make a video for you guys? You did, in fact. Should we play that video now? Sure, why not? Do you have a video? Do you have the link? I gave you the link. Oh, I, last time I used the Discord, uh, the, the Dropbox it link, it didn't work. I thought you were putting it on YouTube. No, no, I, I gave you a new Dropbox link. Hold on, let me get it. Oh, link. okay. Yeah, I deleted the old one because I forgot to resize the video. Hold on, let me find it here. Behind the counter... Let me scroll up. And then Davis started insulting my talent. <laughs> there we go. I yeah, think you found we it? got it now. Yes. Okay, I'll say I found it too. Yeah. No, we got it. All right, let's play a video. All right. Also, just before we play it, I made this in like 40 minutes. <laughs> Do not take this as me being like, wow, it's awesome. Let's let's go with some, some musical memes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can I give a lead in? Wake 
That's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. It's not over yet! Oh. It's so close to being over. Keep playing it! Oh, I just thought I just thought it looped. Sorry. Give it to me, I'm Nice. It, it, it does repeat, but it doesn't loop. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I... Yeah, I'm not a fan of repeating stuff, but the video was repeatable, so... Right, right, right. No, fair enough. Everyone's already excited. I love it so much! <laughs> I love it so much! Do you know how much this video means to me? I, I hope a lot, because uh, you need to pay five bucks per watch. Do you, do you understand <laughs> why I love that video so much? No. Okay, so at HRPC, I saw the original, I ain't gonna sleep because of y'all, now y'all can't <laughs> sleep because of me, for the first time. And that night, I slept in a room with um, Flam and Priest, who don't generally snore. And both of them snored like buzz saws. <laughs> Oh, so they're nice. like me at then. Point, they're like me. At one point, they harmonized. It was weird, and I didn't have any ear like ear things to put in my ears. And finally, I found out that Priest did like the next day after I didn't sleep. So and, did... after the, and after the next day of no sleep, I just straight up told them. So what you're saying is, again, um, I was going to wake them up by screaming that song at them. So, so what... this means a lot to me. So what what happened is that they were basically uh, saying Equestria in their sleep. <laughs> uh, something like that. Equestria, Equestria, Equestria. Equestria. And we drink. And also, please refresh, Chris Pie. Will do. Uh, the Yay. next question from RK Striker JK5 is: Have you done any fan works for a non-MLP franchise? Uh, no. All right. Next question is: If you ever fight John Cena. How will either of you know where the other one is? Well, you see, I'll know where he is because he's a frigging glory hog, and I sit here in the shadows waiting for my opportunity. Ah, let's <coughs> see. And now... Uh, I, I, I'm going to answer Vylon's question. I've already read it. Um, That never would happen, because A, I don't have a daughter, and B, I don't have a daughter. But you ruined no. You ruined it. You don't <laughs> you don't answer violin questions before I do my little song. I'm sorry, pencil. It's say your That's song mean. and then I'll answer. I di I I didn't know the rules. You don't you let priest read the damn questions. That's the rules. <laughs> no okay. one explained that to me either. We interview you. That's the point of the God, where do you think you are? Fuck, man. <laughs> Here we go. Just say, uh, do you want It's not the question of the Thylon. We're done. Okay. Equestria. <laughs> Equestria. We're how, fucking done. How what was that? <laughs> I don't know how to proceed from here. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Ask the question and we'll forget the last two minutes ever happened. Okay. How are you today? I am doing fine. Great. <laughs> you are having sex with your daughter when your wife nope. walks in on you. Me. Do you think that she's more shocked that you're fucking your daughter or the fact that the abortion clinic gave you the fetus? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to go with amazing. the abortion. <laughs> Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, Mylon, honey, I missed you. I think they're going to be more amazed that uh, my vasectomy didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yay! Or the, or no one said it was quote unquote yours. Yeah. Why? Oh, yeah, God. your vasectomy, your vasectomy you... did work. You just picked one up on the dumpster behind the abortion clinic. Oh, fair enough. Brody, you have a potential. Why are you in a family setting? <laughs> All right. Now we got questions from Shakespeare, please. 
What would you do in a clone dyke bar? I would have sex with lesbian twins. It checks out. <laughs> like the verbal pun was great. I didn't get it until I actually said it. But Clone then your answer is far like... lesbian twins. It all adds up. That's impressive, actually. Do you want some baby bat, baby bat, baby bat cribs? Oh. <laughs> I I would cradle you in my arms, but I just don't have the energy. Why does Twilight School not have zebras or bat ponies? Oh, Jesus. Because of J. Wow. Edgar Hoover, obviously. He can't keep getting away <laughs> with away this, with guys! It. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Be be because of excessive naysayers. Hey. <laughs> I'm so mad! I'm so mad, you guys! I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck zebras. Are you going to BronyCon? Uh, I really wish I was. I was supposed to be going, but sadly, um, familial responsibilities and financial issues are preventing me from doing so. I feel that. Yes, unfortunately, my grandmother has been having health issues, and I look after her, so. All right. I, I hope things get better for you, dude. Yep. Um, wiping. Sitting. Okay. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Hawthorne Let's just Bunny. Cut that one down. <laughs> Sitting. Done. Hawthorne Bunny now has questions. Are you a droplet in the mist? Uh, only in Watership Down. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Why are you uh, watching Glor not, not Gloriosa? God damn it. What's her that, name? That's uh, apparently. I can't even reference. remember her name. She's so forgettable. <laughs> Who? Wait, the new, the, the new villain? No, was, it was What from, was her um, name? Well, she is the new villain, but what's her name vi again? Vi vignette something vignette? No, no, no. Sorry, not the newest villain. You're right. Uh, isn't she the one from the, uh, summer camp? No. No, no, no. No, she's the one from between... No, she's the one from between... No, she's the one from between summer camp and the amusement park. She's she's literally... The mayor. The, no, she, she's the... She, has she's, the, she is literally oh. the forget it. She's the forgettable wall, wall. villain. Yeah, and, uh, wallflower blush. Wallflower, or... that's it, yes. <laughs> All I knew is that there were just a couple porn fix of Wallflower, and then no one ever wrote about her again. Yeah, you know why? Because no one remembers her. Yeah, I don't even watch the Equestria Girl specials, to be completely honest. Oh, uh, there's the there's Equestria Girl there. specials. Are they are they yeah. good? The drinking word specials. Yes. Re. 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 All right. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, what are your thoughts on Quid, a digital collectibles app? Oh, yes, I have actually been on that, uh, thanks to Little Shy. Little Shy uh, sent me a link about that when it came out. Um, it's neat. I, I would never pay any money to collect fake digital stuff. But at the same time, it's actually not that difficult to get enough digital coins free to collect all this pony stuff and trade it. So, I mean, I'm kind of meh on it. Like, it's it's not amazing. It's not stupid. It's right in the middle. It's just like, oh, I can collect pony stuff. Yay. I can respect that people do this, but it's not my thing. Exactly. Ooh. All right. Now we're going to that other other guy who asks, how does this make you feel? How does what make me Um... Nah. That uncomfortable <laughs> what? So, what? how does that make you uncomfortable it it just doesn't look right i've got one of those things i mean you know to each their own so is this is this why they canceled animorphs oh my <laughs> god wow. that's that's why it makes me feel uncomfortable because i didn't like animorphs it was a terrible show didn't was it was a, a show? show? What, it yeah. was a show briefly, it was, but it was a book series mostly. Yeah, yeah, you, you are correct. Yes. God, I remember seeing that shit in yeah. elementary school. If I remember I was saying, correctly, I, again, I read I, it obsessively. I read I, about fifty of those. 
Yeah, if I, I, I remember uh, of Animorphs correctly, when all, all the books together at the very end, it actually got really fucking dark. Yeah, or, the book yeah. the books I kind of noped out on early on uh, because, and I'm, again, I'm not going to state my age, but I'm not young. Right. So a- Animorphs were like quite a part of my early childhood, and they came out a long time ago. <laughs> and so, yeah. like, it was mostly the show that I got noticed. And then the book site said, "Ah, oh, the show was stupid, so screw the books." And as a person who reads a lot of books, that says a lot. Do you, do you remember the cover art, the fake cover art that was released yep. on your note? Yeah, they were, they, yeah, they were all like, "Here's the human, here's no. the animal, and here's all the transformations between." No, no. That was remember? every cover of every book. No, no, no. What I'm trying to get at: Do you remember the the newest comic? What the issue where it shows Hank Hill and a morphing into a tank of propane? No. I missed that. <laughs> that was too busy reading the R.L. Stein books. W- was that a part of Equestria's history? Oh, God, why, though? <laughs> so, does right. Celestia, so does Celestia anamorph into the sun? Sun Bro for Life now has questions <laughs> talking about the sun. Number one. Uh, I and... hate Sunny Delight. All questions are moot. <laughs> <laughs> what is what? your favorite video game? What is my favorite, favorite video game? Oh, actually, I'll be quite honest with you, super, uh, I, I love a lot of video games. I play a lot, mostly PC-based. But if I had to pick what's the one I would love to play the most, it is Super Mario Brothers 2, which is the um, adaptation of Doki Doki Panic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's also the one where I have almost broken the world record at. Oh my god, really? I have come so close. I think the world record is uh, at beating Super Mario 2 is like 8 minutes and something. I have come to like 9 minutes. Oh, wow. Jeez, man. Hashtag yeah. speedrun. Like, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the only game I will ever claim to be that good at. <laughs> for, for a moment there, I thought you said that you played a game that was a combination of Super Mario and Doki, Doki Literature Club. No, no, honey. no. No, Doki Doki Panic is is actually what Super Mario 2 used to be. No. Uh, Nintendo bought the rights to the game and changed all the sprites. It's the reskin. Super Mario 2. Yep. Yeah. That's why you never see those characters ever again, like the, the angry son or the, the yeah. red glasses. And that actually leads into question two, which is what is my favorite boss fight, which is Birdo. Okay. Yep, my favorite boss fight is Birdo. It's... Could be again because I was so fast at it that I could jump on those egg missiles and chuck them back in her face, put like a split. You know, you gotta be terrified of an enemy that throws its fetuses at you. But it's not its fetuses. It's it's it's, not, it's no, it's not fetuses. It's not they are they are un un um. What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, unborn children. Not unborn children, but you are close. <laughs> um. It's un 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 spermicide. Uh, unfertilized. 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 Unspermicide. Unsperm. Unsperm. I was close. Shut up. Unspermed. <laughs> I like that so much. So, um, are we all unspermed right now? No. No. No, we are very spermed. <laughs> Number. We are as fuck. Because we're speaking to each other. Oh Number three. Some more than others. <laughs> like milk. Have you accepted Skeletor, <laughs> the master of the universe, into your heart? Um. You'd have to ask Shira. Oh. Interesting. She's have not you heard? Have enough. you heard about the new Shira Netflix series? I have not. I have not. Yes, apparently their Netflix is redoing Shira. Well, 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 very interesting. Is this still going to have that shirtless guy with the mustache and the cape? You mean Bo? Yeah, no, it's Bo, the guy with the heart. He was the archer. I know who. I know who that's your t- who that's you're talking about. Yeah, he looked like a he looked like a, a like a porn care of actor who just walked on stage and was like, "Yeah, you're you'll fit nice. He has a cape." Yeah, no, I, I don't know if he's included, but I'm assuming so because he was a big part of the, sh- the show. Anyways, um, 
Number I'll say yes. Yay! Number four. You are in Mini Horse Hangout, so what business do you start? I am going to start Pony Mustache Rides. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. And then last but not least from Sunbro for Life, do you no. even... Praise. <laughs> nope. And then the collective sadness sets in. But you know what always takes care of sadness? I Money. I do praise the diabetes cult. <laughs> Money. So, and we've hit halfway through the cast, so it's about that time. Alex, post all the links, motherfucker! I'm gonna do the thing! Is it about time that we equestria, 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 equestria? Yes, but after that, I have to sing a song, and it's really hot, so I don't want to put in literally any effort. So, mm. here we go. What song? What song? I make it up every week. Oh, okay. <sighs> Can I make it up with you? No! God! This is where we ask them for money! <laughs> I want some money for the bar cast, cause a non pencil can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said I can't You sing. you are about to get fucking owned, my friend. You're about to get demolished, my dude. We somebody said I can't sing. Well, let's hear the let's hear the proof that I'm wrong. Why are you trying to make me put out effort? It's too hot for this. Okay. <laughs> Fucking so when you think of the podcast, you usually think of bullshit. However, there is one thing we do that is pretty legit. We give our money to the horses at Redwing's Horse Sanctuary, and we let them use it for anything they may. We don't use any of the money for hookers or booze or blow. That's just how everything in our little world goes. So when you think of the bar cast, please try to remember one thing. We don't use your money for other things. Just remember this today. Yay! We except, give except money Nike. to the bar cast because we like horses. We don't, though, do it. Yeah. <laughs> except Big Mac, he, he's probably getting some mad hand jobs. Yeah, Big Mac's our horse. We actually, um, we, uh, to be clear, we sponsor a horse at Red Wings Horse Sanctuary with all of the money donated to us through our Patreon. Uh, the horse's name is actually Big Mac, which is why we had to. I mean, come on. He was chosen by our um, viewers, and he gets about $1,000 a year from us now at this point, which is really amazing, and I'm actually happy. That is fantastically amazing. I am so happy to hear that. Did we ever get the letter from him, though? I'm still waiting on that. Yeah. I read it fucking live during the cast, and you were there! I don't remember. You, 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 got, <laughs> muddy, you got muddy hoof prints on a piece of paper. Be happy with it. Pretty much. <laughs> Big Mac wrote his letter. It says, hoof, hoof, stomp, hoof, stomp, hoof, muddy, hoof, stomp. In which case he said, fuck you, Enigma, you piece of shit. We'll, we'll, we'll take it as that. <laughs> All right. Now we have questions from Tin Man. Oh. Tin Man now has six questions for you. Number one, what is your favorite headcanon from the show? Wait, no, that's, that's not a, that is not, sorry, that is an oxymoron. There is no such thing as headcanon from the show. Oh? You can have headcanon, or there's canon from the show. You cannot have both. If you're asking me what my favorite headcanon is, it's Fluttercord. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I, I see. There's, a, there's either canon or there's head cannon. You cannot so, have both. <laughs> so your headcanon is that Fluttershy's fetish is ex-cons. No, my my uh, head cannon is that um, the girl next door wants the bad boy. That, or she probably just wants to see if Discord's dick is an amalgamation of different creatures too. Well, let's be fair. Uh, Discord's dick would be an amalgamation of whatever the hell he wanted it to be. 
Dick's, yeah. Dick's like, cord. Like, like she rubs things like, come on, big boy, let me see what you got. It's just a fucking balloon randomly. Or, <laughs> or it just blows up a balloon. <laughs> or it's another smaller Discord as a oh, God damn it. It's like a hello flutter. That, that could totally be a meme format if we get an artist on it where Let's like, do this. And, no, and then just like the story. final frame is just like different penises coming out. No, like, that has to be a story, like, Fluttershy's been trying to get him in bed, and finally she succeeds, and he just fucks with her the entire time. No, like, I have answered this question. Shall we move on? <laughs> all right, number two. Uh, bug ponies or gay deer? Um, gay bug deer ponies. Ah, you like bugs that cop the big gay. I, I am I am in the middle on that, because I, I love the fact that Chrysalis is still a villain. I love it because they reform people so quickly. It's ridiculous. I love the fact that especially with the mean six episode where she's like, ha ha. I actually like literally within the first 30 seconds, I'm like, that's chrysalis. Like <laughs> I had not seen any commentary on it. I had no idea what was happening. And as soon as she walked in and I'm sorry for the spoilers, if you have not seen this episode, but I'm like, this is Chrysalis, and she's yeah. getting her revenge right now. Like, I had it in the first 30 seconds of that episode. Same. I saw the eye <laughs> color. I saw the cutie mark. I heard that she was like, forgive me. And I was like, this bitch. Yep. It's Chrysalis. This is, this is happening. And I was so glad that she did not get her revenge, and she's still on the warpath. I was like, yes, they're finally keeping a goddamn villain outside of Tyrek and uh, Sombra, who was you know, supposedly have... killed and supposedly deposed. Right. De deported. De deported might be a better term. Okay. <laughs> maybe one maybe <laughs> one Chrysalis will just get shot, like, and then that'll be the end of it. Yeah. Anyways. Number um, three. Yeah. Bird ponies or bat ponies? Bat ponies. Thank you. Number <laughs> four. Do you even crotch boobs? Uh, hell to the no. Hashtag but too you, real. So but, but, disturbing. But think of it this way. No, 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 no. I will you'll, not think of it anyway. You'll, so you'll, disturbing. Next you'll, question. You'll, you'll have your honey and your milk won't be that far from it. Number five. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why not the dragon boobs? Um, they have them. Have you not seen Ember? Yeah. She doesn't have any. She's a reptile! She does have them. Uh, they're there, and I can show you pictures from the show screenshots to back that up. Way to, way to make me feel validated. Why having, would he make you feel validated? Having an extended sternum does not fucking count. Well, let me put it this way. Uh, her extended, st extended sternum resembles dragon boobs. Uh, I'm not going to go with that. Except it doesn't. It resembles an extended sternum. <laughs> also, when she was wearing armor, she had a breastplate. I... All what? armor has what? breastplate. What? Enigma. Enigma. No. Bad. No. No, Enigma, yes. This, this question was asked to me, and I have answered it. <laughs> yeah, and it look at that. There's, I mean, look, yeah, look at that. There's nothing. I like how she's got a little cat feet. <laughs> All right, Little number. Oh, I see what you mean. Actually, yeah. Yeah, look, look at her feet, and then look oh, at. She her. does have little cat feet. I never noticed that before. <laughs> okay, how is she dragon lord with that? For those feet, goddamn. I don't fucking know, man. Because of Spike. End of question. Yeah, Spike. Oh, that's true, actually. That's actually. Yes, fucking yes, true. it is. <laughs> <laughs> number six, love butt or bug butt. Now, I need clarification on that, whether it's about uh, Cadence or Chrysalis. Yeah, there you go. That's what I it think is. It that, is. That is yeah. exactly what because it is. Because if, if it's a decision between Cadence and Chrysalis, I will say Cadence. Ooh. Why so? I see this is a man of culture. Also, I think I unplugged my headphones. Hold on. Yes, I did. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Yay. Sorry, uh, again, uh, is this the differentiation between chrysalis and cadence yes yes, yes. Choose. yeah um personal choice um bug butt because guess what she can turn into anybody but why would you want her to change 
Um, because variety. Why can't she you just is. love the person she is on the inside? She, she already <laughs> has a bunch of. She already has a bunch of different holes. I mean. So what? So I also her. I also love Swiss cheese. So oh. what? Yeah. So what? If, so what if a ragu has a clotoris, or whatever it's pronounced? Clotoris. Hold on. What you, did you, say? you asked me the question and I answered it. Next question. Cherished now has the next question. Maroon or turquoise? Turquoise. Next question. Lone Trooper now asks, um, number one, what is your favorite heartwarming experience at a convention? Um, I honestly don't really have a heartwarming... Actually, no, no let me rephrase. I actually do. Um, at Brony Can, the Canadian... Uh, brony convention. The first actual brony convention I attended. Uh, I went there as a volunteer. Um, and they were a convention that doesn't comp your volunteer status on the first year. Like, they required you to, like, be there for a year before they paid your ticket. So I, 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 I purchased my weekend pass for the whole weekend. Uh, and I volunteered for registration and, like, whatever else they needed me to do. And at the first night, I was I went there the day before the convention started to, like, help set up registration, like, the pre-reg. And the next morning, I got introduced to the uh, person who was called Con Mom, who ran the staff lounge. Okay. And so basically, the next day... Uh, this is a person who had a budget and exceeded that budget out of their own personal pocket by by miles. Like they would they would buy anything that was needed. Like they didn't give a pardon my language a shit about what the actual budget was. They would buy what was needed. And by the end of the first Friday, I uh, I had volunteered for registration because at any convention that's where most of the volunteers are needed is that registration because it's a, a terrible job to do right and it's a hard hard thing to get people to volunteer for so i'm like yeah i'll do it let's let's do this and so for the whole first day i was on a reg and by the time i ended it um the con mom was like i need help doing this i'm like well i'll help you do that and so for the next 24 hours i was helping her do all this stuff and uh, I lived literally about an hour away from the convention, so I was not getting a hotel room. Like, why would I spend money to get a hotel room and ride the bus? Or, or, or spend, you know, 200 bucks to get a hotel room for two days, or, you know, two bucks to get a bus back and forth every day. It's like, that's a no-brainer. Right. So she asked me, she's like, so where are you staying tonight? I'm like, well, I'm going to take the bus home. Or, like, there's, like, 24-hour internet cafes in this area. I'll just go to an internet cafe and spend, you know, 20 bucks and spend the night at the internet cafe, like, playing games. And I'll I'll come and get a shower in the morning at somebody's hotel suite and blah, blah. No, no. You're going to stay in our room. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I know. You'll stay in our room. You can sleep on the couch, like. We're all set. Like we, we, no one's just me and my husband sleeping in the bed, and the couch is available. You can sleep on the couch. And I'm like, well, I'm your bitch for the weekend then. Oh, like anything you need, I'm your bitch. Like, <laughs> I'm a okay. volunteer. I'm I'm a volunteer at the convention. I've I've told everyone like I'll do anything that's need, needed to be done. I'm yours. And so for the entire weekend, you know, I spent the weekend on her couch. In her in the the staff suite, and I did anything anybody ever asked of me. Okay. Yeah. So I, I forgot where I was going with this now. <laughs> Still, they were extremely kind to you, and um... it, it, that that's where I was going. Yes, is they were extremely kind to me. Uh, that was the best. Uh, no question. Too the the most heartwarming experience is that I told her like. Yeah, you know, my, my plans are I'm going to either bus home for an hour and then bus back here in the morning for an hour or go spend the night at an internet cafe. And she's like, oh, you can sleep on our couch. 
and I'm like, I'm yours. Like anything you need, I am. I am your bitch. <laughs> That's so sweet. All right. Yeah. Then I'm number two. And, and and I was her bitch all weekend. What did she make you do? <laughs> oh, I uh, again, she was the, the hospitality suite for the staff. So basically what I did was in the mornings, I went to the registration desk. I helped register people. And as soon as like the, the, the swell died down, I would be like, okay, you guys are on your own. I'm going back to the hospitality suite. And I would go back there and I would run food to the registration desk to the ops room like i would basically just make sure everyone was getting fed and everyone was getting what they needed and then actually at, at babs con last year i ran into the people who were like the uh the con chair of of brony can and they're like oh well the con mom can't make it this year so we're looking for a new person to run the hospitality suite and i'm like well, i'll do it well, there you go! Nice. And then, yeah, and so for the next year, they, they gave me the choice, like, uh, do you want us to pay for the food, or do you want us to pay for the room? And I'm like, well, pay for the room, I'll get the food, and I'll run the, the hospitality suite. Because then again, you know, I, I did live, quote-unquote, locally, but it's nice to have a room in the hotel to stay in. Right. And then I got to cook all the food all weekend for everyone. Uh, we did, you know, breakfast and lunch, but no dinner. And then, you know, so all my food is taken care of. I had a room to stay in. I had access to the whole convention. I had a couple helpers. And I just, I ran the whole thing, and it, it was great. Hell yeah! Nice, nice. dude. Then, uh, question number two from Lone Trooper. Uh, when, uh, when on a... Given your time on Equestria Amino, what has been your best experience you've witnessed on there and your worst? Uh, let's go with the worst first. Um, and this is not a singular experience. It It's yeah. it's more to do with, like, I am an authority figure on there. So when things go wrong, I mm. have to step up and be like, you fucked up, you're gone. Mm -hmm. So several times I have... <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, if I wanted to be like the actual worst experience was when I was falsely accused of pedophilia. Oh. Oh. Joy. Yeah. Um, I I came through it because it was not actually true. The the main issue was that. Uh, and people were using screenshots from Discord, which are easily fakeable. Yeah. Yeah. The The unfortunate thing is, if you want to fake Discord screenshots, you make a new account with somebody's profile, picture, or name, and send yourself messages. Done. Screenshots. Hello? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. actually true, yeah. Yeah, it's it's really sad. And so basically what happened was, is uh, somebody who was I th I thought was my friend... Uh, and had been appointed at the time, uh, I was not the head leader. But the head leader at the time appointed this person as a new moderator. Um, they decided they didn't like me all of a sudden. And so all of a sudden, they created this huge Google document of myself uh, sending them screen sh quote, again, quote unquote screenshots that were not verifiable. Right. I started passing them around the Amino, trying to get me in trouble and, and removed as a leader. And I'm like, um, that, that never happened. <laughs> Can you prove it like in the Amino? Like, did I ever talk to you in the Amino about this? And I'm like, well, uh, yeah, you did. I'm like, well, can you show me those screenshots? No, I can't. So you just made all this shit up. <laughs> it, it was a very unpleasant time. I can't. I can't really get into a lot of details without right, being more course, specific. Naturally. But, but base, basically, what happened was like, this is before I became the head leader, and I am now the head leader. So clearly, I was vindicated in my actions. Right, of course. But mm -hmm. it, it was a a terrible time, and I'm just very thankful for the people who stood by me, um, especially on the uh, the co leader teams, such as uh, people who I'm going to mention now, just like Cyanide Fairy, 
blue kazanate, um, eyesore for the blind, malicious, it's malicious. Uh, there are people who are on my art theft team, my, my, just people who support me, like, yeah, there was, there was even a person who was, uh, I thought was a really good friend of mine, and then when this all happened, uh, this is the person who actually started circulating all the false information. It's, it's kind of funny because when, uh, here's exactly what happened when this all kind of triggered. I discovered a chat that was, uh, reported to me about, it was a private chat about a bunch of users who were talking about and drawing inappropriate content. Right. And, again, I I don't care about not safe for work stuff. It does not offend me. But, at the same time, if you're doing it on the community, and somebody reports it to me, if I don't act upon it, then I'm culpable. So I need to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so somebody had reported it to me, and I was really disappointed because one of the people involved was a very close friend of mine. And I, I was very thankful that at the point it was reported to me is they had not been posting, you know, pornographic stuff. They had just been discussing drawing pornographic stuff, but had not actually done it. And so I'm like, I can step in now and be like, hey, don't do that. You guys get a 24-hour timeout. And if you do it again, you're going to get banned. One of those people who was, a, again, a close friend of mine to this day, said, oh, you caught me. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. My bad. Everyone else who was involved in that said, well, f, f you. I can do what I want. I blah, 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 blah. And then they started drawing, like, me with a unicorn horn as a penis as revenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Yeah, like basically, like one one of the like six people involved went, "Oops, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that." The other five were like, "Let's draw him with a penis horn." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, and now here here's the funny part of that is that the one person who was actually sorry about what happened was friends with one of the moderators who I ended up having to ban because they tried to throw me under the bus for things I didn't do. Wow. And Jeez. so so that person told them, like, oh, yeah, yeah. He, like, yeah, Invisi likes, you know, he likes, you know, urine porn. He likes piss and scat and blah, 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 this and blah, blah, blah. And so, so the next thing that this person who I thought was my friend does was send me this a, a quote-unquote apology pornography. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? what even of, is uh, this yeah. story? Apology pornography. I love yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of my of my OC like pissing on what I thought was her OC, and I'm like, why do you think this is an, an apology? Like this is extremely offensive. Like why would you say this? But so and so said you'd like it. I'm like, no, I oh do not. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I thought this is what you liked. I'm like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> That's it's, actually fucking funny. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, it's really funny because, like, imagine, like, if you, like, were in a position of authority and you bans or at least, you know, say gave somebody a timeout and they sent you a picture as, again, quote, unquote, an apology of you pissing on them. It's like... So you think I'm just pissing on you? Like, is that what you think of me? <laughs> that, that's not an apology. <laughs> man, she was trying to give you the hint. She, yeah, oh, maybe, maybe she wanted it. <laughs> okay. Can, can you guys discuss things between yourself for, like, the next 30 to 60 seconds? Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Because so, I, I, I need to go up, apologize to my toilet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I'll be Flame, right back. <laughs> so, Flame, I guess I gave you pre-apology porn of your OC that one time? What? What happened? <laughs> oh, God. Jeez, what the... <laughs> oh, yeah. What the a, 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 
Oh, oh yeah, you people are fucked up. Where, where he had one of the artists that he was working with draw a picture of a very used and abused Stella with cum all over her. Like, all <laughs> over her. Like, and like all over her. Oh, I, I got, remember. I have it. I, I got I got Flame in a call. I was like, Flame, here, it's your birthday. I got you your present. Here you go. So and I remember the si- I remember the silence before he yells out, What the fuck did you do to her? <laughs> So, for those who may just be turning in or didn't hear at the beginning, uh, Enigma and Flam are over at Pencil's house right now. Mm-hmm. Pencil, what is the worst thing to happen since those boys came over to your house? Oh, Enigma spitting worst. on the fucking floor. Yeah, <laughs> probably Enigma spitting on the floor. But um, Wait, I did not spit on the floor. You, you spit, spit gum, gum on, on the, the floor. On the streets. You don't spit gum out on the street. It's um, not. It's not a designated spitting street. Actually, honestly, the worst thing happened is probably me. I got too drunk last night, and they had to deal with me, and they learned something. Oh, no. Pencil talks in an exact stream of consciousness, and it doesn't (laughs) stop for hours. But the thing is, it it didn't bother me, but I was legit amazed by the fact (laughs) that she could go on 12 different tangents and not suddenly dichotomize them all, but she could just instantly transition from one unrelated topic to another in the mm. most seamless way where it fucked with my mind. It's like, amazing. Wait, what are we just talking like, wait, how does that fit? Okay. Like, and I didn't cry. So I did good about that. So I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> also, also, you seem to think you made me drunk yesterday, which I'm not sure I was. Um, when you, at, at the winery, you were drunk. I don't know. I felt, I felt... I got drunk off of like fucking five sips of wine was actually pretty stellar. You had <laughs> trouble with balance. You te- you tested it. That one time. I mean, that's sober enigma can barely walk that thing. You had <laughs> troubles. It was it was noted. You almost actually like fucked yourself up on a table as you're going to the bathroom and you barely missed it. And Flam and I just leaned over <laughs> to each other simultaneously and Flam just goes, uh. I went, yeah, he just almost offed himself on that table. He's like, I know. You're, you're also saying I was flirting with Rose when I wasn't? You did flirt with Rose. Did he? I, was not- did he? I, didn't, I didn't see it. Just briefly. I, the thing is, like, he, he, you gave her a compliment, and it was a little too personal of a compliment. And I was like, oh, that's nice, but also weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just, that's, I think we just said shit like that anyways, to be I honest. Know. Because he has no social boundaries. Because it was very father, weird. Whatever you're talking about. Well, oh, yeah. just remember, he'll be the reason we go to jail for God knows what reason. <laughs> he will Probably. actually. He Bro. will actually. All right. Let's get back to these questions. Number three. Yes. He was literally just talking. I'm here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's him. He's talking. Just because I'm eating garlic bread does not mean I don't know what's happening. You're eating garlic bread on the toilet? Garlic bread is a great I'm thing. not on the toilet! <laughs> did the toilet accept your apology? It did. <laughs> with great with great gusto, uh, befitting a toilet of Equestria. Hey, man. Yeah. Shit happens. <laughs> Sh- oh, shit happened, maybe. I don't know. All right. Next question. If you met favorite pony, what would you do? Um, did I die? <laughs> yes. That's up. That's up to you, Buckaroo. So, you're dead, and the first thing you see is Fluttershy, and she was like, she asked you if you were an ex-convict, <laughs> or, if you have, or if you have a weird penis. Uh, do I? Do, are either of those things attractive to you? <laughs> All right, number four. In one sentence, say something nice about Enigma, and it can't be anything about him being born or existing. God damn it. Um, it's, it's an Enigma. Mm-hmm. It, enigma! Riddle! Duh. Yeah, I get it, I get it. We got a question from the chat from a Ravenger, more popularly known on Fin Fiction as the Abyss. Uh, when the EQG girls pony up, do their regular ears transform into the pony ears or on top of their head? Um, or do they just have two sets of ears now? Wait a two minute. Sets, didn't two, I, two didn't I ask this? 
Didn't I ask the voice actress of Starlight Glimmer that exact same question at Babs? You did. <sighs> did she did she answer it? Because I'm answering now and I'm saying two sets of ears. <laughs> She did answer, and I think she said two sets as well, if I remember correctly. Well, clearly we are the same person. Could you not recognize my voice? You don't want to be the same person as Enigma, my friend. You, you, you don't. You, no, I'm, you, not, I'm not saying I'm the same. I'm saying the same voice actress as. Oh. Oh. Right, right. <laughs> because you were at Babs. Could yeah, you guys weird. catch up here a little bit? Come on. That's much better. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I am I, mean, I am Rebecca Soichette Soy or whatever her name. Is. Well, hey, I mean, you don't even know her name. Yeah. You don't even Soy know Shet. her name. Rebecca her name. Soichet. Her name is it. Nicole Oliver. <laughs> her name's Nicole guys. Oliver. <laughs> Next fucking question, number five. <laughs> Explain in detail why bagged milk is the worst milk. Um. I can't because I'm from Canada and it's the best milk. <laughs> so, so does having milk exposed to direct sunlight make it more delicious um, at all times? Again, how does milk being in a bag make it any more exposed to sunlight and milk in a plastic container? Well, it's transparent. Well, yeah. one. Guess so, what? Plastic is transparent as well. So your um, argument is bullshit. <laughs> question, what about cartons, which is how, like, most people have their milk. No, it's not. Most people have their milk in plastic four-gallon jugs. Or, sorry, four-liter jugs, which are, like, two... <laughs> four-gallon two... jugs of milk! Sorry, I'm sorry. Holy I was like, four-liter four <laughs> jugs. Four, I'm I want, well, so, I want a four-gallon so, jug. I want a four-gallon so, so jug. Four gallon, on, gallon, gallon as jugs. Material as I do. Four gallons is plenty. <laughs> I meant <laughs> gallon, gallon jugs or four liter jugs. So, that's what you... <laughs> so, so we're filling up water coolers filled with milk. I will fill your face with milk if we don't move on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to feel. This and it won't be skim. <laughs> Number it's, six. It's going to be it's gonna be whole, boy. It's going to be powdered. It's going to be homo. No! <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Number six before the big gay comes. Um, what brings you the most happiness in your life? Ponies. Okay. Number seven. Good answer. You have to hug, snuggle, cuddle between Enigma, Flutter Priest, and Flutter Flutter Priest. Aww. Aww. Oh, oh, only because Flutter Priest is the only person who I can remember their physical Aww. form of. Oh. Wait, wait. And Isn't they've been the, and they've been the nicest to me that I can recall. Aww. Is, isn't the order hug? Isn't the order hug, snug, snuggle, cuddle? So then, if you're hugging priest, who are you cuddling and snuggling? Well, uh, to be fair, um, I will have to cuddle Flamin Werfer because he worfs the Flamin. Correct. He does Correct. do that. It's it's actually one of my my most ultimate favorite memes is it's it's a flamin werfer it works flamin and it just makes me like cry every time i think about it it's one of the funniest memes i've seen like this is a flamin werfer it works flamin <laughs> this is a storm at 44 it gives 44 storms yeah that doesn't sound as funny that sounds very technical and bullshitty now yeah, we've got expanded it beyond flamin werfer that's why now we've got questions from Shakespeare. He owes me a snuggle! If oh you God. could ejaculate any beverage, what would it be? Fanta. What kind? <laughs> that is a serious question. What kind of Fanta? Uh, raspberry. Hey girl. Ooh, nice choice. Hey, hey, hey girl, you want a you want a Fanta? Best <laughs> <laughs> like of you had that. <laughs> Number two, oh. <laughs> anthro or feral? Anthro. Feral, I love feral. <laughs> Someone was asking earlier if you want breasts on the chest of a pony. That would look so fucking weird. Yeah. It Why don't works. you just cover the entire pony body with breasts? It's just a I lumpy, tumorous form. <laughs> just titty, like titty, titties everywhere, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> titty pony, the kitty, the kitty mark is a nipple. Yeah, no. The kitty mark is all the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, she can be called Ma'am Mary. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's actually pretty good. Number Interview three. is over. <laughs> Number three. Would you sexual the Fluttershy? Wouldn't I? But remember, there's like a lot of twigs and leaves in her tail. Exactly, which is why I said wouldn't I. All right. Uh, preferred cup size. C? Four gallons, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Four gallons! It depends on what's inside the container. <laughs> An uncomfortable <laughs> amount of milk. What's in that Wonder Ball, girl? <laughs> I oh. answered your question. Next. <laughs> Alex underscore is back and ready for more. Number one, what is your animal or spirit animal? <laughs> I did not watch it, but I'm going to say lion because I have a tattoo on my shoulder that says lion in Japanese. Uh, you're, you're, it's, you're, that's your spirit animal because you're way into incest. So it reads nickel. How does, the, how does having the lion tattoo on my shoulder make me way into incest? <laughs> It's because it's, it's, I explained to them today that, that male lions will occasionally fuck their brothers for funsies. Yeah, but I just wanted to make sure that people understood why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, no, it's lion is your spirit animal. What? What was the flame? What, what, what was the child? There are, there are children outside the... Uh, I, 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 this interview oh is over. This has got uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Next question. Which pony would you like to transform into? Oh. Um, does Discord count as a pony? Yes. yes. I would say he well, absolutely does. Then, then Discord, because anyone who chooses anything other than that is an idiot. They say that Discord is part pony, but I don't see it. No, it's, he, it's he is definitely part, part pony. I'm just asking if that was a acceptable answer because why would you why would you not transform into the person who can basically do whatever the hell they want all right uh number three have you ever touched anyone's butt um yeah <laughs> good number four you would that's, you the that's... baby <laughs> no <laughs> also good but have you seen but, it? Yeah, but have you seen the baby? <laughs> Guys. I, I, I would not want a child like me. <laughs> More questions from Drothrafrg. Number one, what was the first episode of MLP Fem you've seen? Oh, Christ. Actually, to be honest, the first actual full episode I ever saw was almost by accident, and it was the cheese sandwich episode. Oh, that, was pretty, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, because I was actually... I'm a huge fan of Weird Al. And then yeah. one day, and I had never watched any episode of MLP, but I was, like, looking for new Weird Al songs, and I went, new Weird Al, blah, blah. I can't remember the exact search I put up. But then that came up, and I'm like, oh, it's new Weird Al song. And I watched it, and I ended up watching the whole episode. I'm like, I love Weird Al. Screw you, MLP. I'm not watching you. That, that obviously changed. <laughs> Alright. And then next question is, what is your favorite MLP film episode? Oh, my favorite one is... Oh, that's a tough one, because I love Slice of Life. Okay. Mainly, mainly because it un, until the newest seasons, it actually validated one of my headcanon theories, which was that uh, Gummy was Star Swirl the Bearded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. Uh, What's your ideal body type in a partner? Presently uh, plump, overly muscular, tall, thin, slender? Uh, as is cool. Athletic. Uh, I thought you were going to say quad. I thought so you say... Let's, let's go with tall, thin, and slender. Okay. I thought you were going to say... Long, I thought you were going to say... <laughs> One at a time, boys. <laughs> I thought you were going to say quadruped. Also, no penis. <laughs> that that I is like, understandable. I like my coffee the way I like my women, without a penis. <laughs> and also black and on the breakfast table. <laughs> I like my women like I like my like my coffee ground up and in the freezer. 
Nice. <laughs> Don't shake a wow wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh it's funny you see, I actually have my coffee in the freezer right now. <laughs> it's not funny. Still, it keeps the beans stroke. fresh. Aren't you supposed to store them in a dry, that's, cool place? That's what she said. <laughs> Next, question. Fucking beans. Next question. Number four. Why must you ruin the bar cast? Let the questions be asked, damn it. Shut up, I'm busy. Okay. Okay. Is that what you yell when you're masturbating? I have better things to do than listen to you. That's the motto of our, of our podcast. <laughs> One of the us. podcast. You have better things to do than listen to us. So wait, am I ruining it or improving it? I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> the answer to that is yes. Find out Yay! next week. <laughs> no, number five. Next time. Same. Same. Best, no. Same bat oh. pony time, same bat oh. pony channel. On the oh next episode! <laughs> on the next so episode! Barcast up. ruined. Oh my god. <laughs> Final question that we've got out in the thread. What was your least favorite question you've been asked today? How big was my penis? <gasps> or jugs. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh, if, if that had been asked, that would be my least favorite. But that wasn't asked. <laughs> What? It was literally the first question! No, you said jugs. Jugs was not asked, it was penis. Oh. Which, which, as you recall, I said it would be the last question I answered today. Ah, it's true. Uh, so I guess that this is the time that we open the questions up to the chat. This is your chance, guys. We're out of questions in the thread. Um, if you have any questions, be, for to, uh, be sure to shove them in. And speaking of having things shoved inside us, here's our first question. Um, yeah. Invisibrony, who would you snuggle with and why? Give as much detail as possible for your ideal snuggle situation. Wait, what? Like, are we talking ponies or just oh, random uh, whoever. people? Ponies, I'm pretty sure. Well, obviously Fluttershy because she's just that girl next door and... I think she'd just be really fun to, you know, hang out and watch a movie with and just cuddle with. Not so she, chill? I don't think she lives next door to anyone. In your universe. Is she, it, can she be the girl next door? She doesn't live next door to anyone? I'm just playing up a stereotype here. My <laughs> point being, you <laughs> asked me what I thought and I'm telling you, stop picking holes in my logic. What <laughs> logic? <laughs> All right, the next question comes from Shakespeare, please. Uh, let's see. Uh, pasting link here. What is Rainbow Dash looking at? Um, uh, thank you for scrolling. I'm watching the GIF. Hold on. She's surprised. She's looking to see if anyone's watching her being surprised. And then all of a sudden she's like, mm -mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Um, oh, clearly cool. she's looking at the first prize trophy in a race where nobody else has entered. No, clearly she's looking at the four jugs. She's at a party and there's only one slice of pizza left. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, is this water sports? <laughs> she, no, she, she found a... Uh... No, she, she's clearly found uh, that she's the only person in the bar cast interview chat. She found Jesus. All right. He was behind the couch the whole time. <laughs> Next question comes from yes, uh, behind Tam, the, couch. the amazing me. Um, I hope you're going to BronyCon again this year. We're not going to be able to make it, but you're such an awesome person. Um, if you are trapped in a godless old man's mansion and his abominable clone daughter, and the only way to escape certain death of the claws of a terrible OC dinosaur was to make a raptor noise, could you do it and demonstrate Clever girl. Let me let me try that again. Um. <clears throat> Jesus. No, apparently I can't. <laughs> that, that was not bad, though. That was really good. 
It started off with the Predator, but then it was turning into the Raptor. Yeah, I loved it's it. The, it's the Predator Raptor. It's Predator again. Raptor. That's my head cannon. <laughs> oh God! Can you imagine? Can you? Oh, hold on! I can't hear what you're saying because I unplugged my headphones. Hold on. Oh God! God damn it! <laughs> hold on. The pedal raptor. I can't find the hole to my headphones. We all have trouble finding the hole sometimes. It's a common problem. If you have trouble with that puzzle, I'd be seriously. I have some questions. I'm back. Okay. The next question was... is oh, from the Abyss, specifically their friend <laughs> Pony Topper. Um, what is your favorite beer style and why? We're getting some beer. fucked. We're getting Ooh. fucked up on barrel aged imperial stouts. Beer style. Okay. Um, as far as beer goes, my current favorite beer to purchase is Carling Black Label Supreme. The reason being is that it's an extremely <clears throat> strong beer. As far as Canada goes, the average beer strength is 5% by alcohol volume. Right. Um, Carling Black Label is 8% by alcohol volume. And it's actually a cheaper beer, which, um... Let's say, like, if I were to, in my area, in Canada, buy a, a six-pack of Budweiser, it would cost me almost $14 at 5%. I can buy this Carling Black Label at 8%, which costs me $11, and actually tastes better. Can't argue with that, then. Oh, by yeah, the it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, uh, it, most times, you know, like I'm buying a malt beer, it's stronger, it tastes like Colt 45, which is like drinking a can of sugar, and it's awful. This actually tastes like a nice, decent beer, but it's still cheaper than most of the, the shitty, generic beers you could find. Right, right. Alright, the next question from the chat that I see is from the Lion Monkey. Oh, thank you for participating. Um, uh, the what... answer is get back in your wheelchair and go home. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love you, Lion Monkey. <laughs> Ask the question. <laughs> Does anyone have eyes on the Invisibroni? Oh, okay. This is a meme from BabsCon last year. Um, I was on staff, and uh, a big thing became... It was kind of funny, actually, because people on the radio would keep saying, does anyone have eyes on Invisibroni? And as soon as somebody asked that, like, well, he's invisible, you dumbass. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> But the funny thing was, is that whenever this happened, I was like 99% of the time standing next to somebody with a radio. <laughs> and when it actually mattered, um, I think it was on, uh, I was, uh, I was in charge of doing the John Delancey Q&A moderation on Sunday for like the main hall. Right. And so on Saturday... Mid afternoon, I was up in the staff lounge having a sandwich and eating some snacks, and the radio goes off. Anyone have eyes on Invisibroni? Ha <laughs> ha, he's invisible, blah blah, all the jokes. And then one of the staff, like, leads is literally sitting next to me at the staff table in the lounge. He's like, Yeah, yeah, he's next to me. And they're like, Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's running the John Delancey Q&A, and what do you want to know? And they're, I, I missed what they said after that, but he's like, he looks, he turns around and he goes, you're doing the, the John Delancey q and I'm like, yeah, yeah, tomorrow and like in the morning. He's like, no, like, like in half an hour. I'm like, no, it, the John Delancey q and is like tomorrow, Sunday at like 10 a.m. So he's like, no, it's in like half an hour in the kids pavilion. So apparently they had just like, made a decision to, like, have me run the kids' panel as well as the adult panel. <laughs> oh, my God. But but nobody had told me. Oh, God. So they're like, um, yeah, he's okay. right here. Like, do you want him to come down right now? And I'm like, fuck, yeah, I'll go do it. <laughs> they couldn't tell you because they didn't have eyes on you. It's true. Yeah, no, it's funny because, like, 
they just assumed I was going to do it, but nobody had actually confirmed with me that I was going to do it. But I just, I just literally happened to be sitting next to like the head of everything of all the panels in the staff room when they called him. Like, have you seen Invisibrony? He's supposed to be doing this. And I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, yeah, you are. I'm like, no one told me. <laughs> and they're like, well, we'll go do it. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. We'll go do it right now. <laughs> all right. Next question. Also, go ahead. Sorry. Also, John Delancey is a really chill, amazing person. Yes, agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, he is a, a a singularly amazing person because when I went to go do the kids panel, it was poorly set up. I did not have proper mic set up. Like I wanted, like you know, uh, wireless mics, and they were wired, and I had to try and move the mics around the crowd while he was sitting up front and he just he just went with everything like he he did not give me any problems and he just went with whatever i said and he just adapted to the situation he is a really cool amazing fun person of course uh total agreement yeah Uh, anyways next question is from cyber drake 777 would you hug a bat pony Hell yeah. Good answer. Well, why would I not hug a bat pony? Rabies. This piece of crap. Rabies. <laughs> uh, next question comes from Tam the, Inv- the Amazing Me. Uh, if you could have a drink with any MLP guest VA, who would the drink be? Uh, what would the drink be and with who? Um, It would be John Delancey. It would be double rum and coke, short, no lime, with ice. Perfect. Yes. 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 Oh, they're multiplying. Okay. Um, And that is all the questions that I found from the chat. Oh, The Abyss has one more question. Uh, Have you written any fan fiction stories before? Yes. I have. Um, I'm trying, but you won't shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, no, I, I have written one, um, I would not call them fan fictions, more like fan episodes, like fan episodes, uh, uh, which actually have to do with the, an arc that, uh, do you know who, uh, Fiora is, as far as, like, the, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, no, Fiora's a good yeah, friend yeah. of ours. Yeah, Fiora's my she's employer. Awesome. Yeah, Qu- Queen Quake Fiora. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I will say this. We have discussed working on this together. We have not actually gone forward on writing these stories, but I have written uh, two or three stories based on an alternative universe story arc um, involving the maniac escaping her comic book world and coming into Equestria. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, and in all honesty, um, I'm surprised they didn't do that in the show, anyways. Oh yeah, I I am too. Like the maniac is the one villain I really wanted to see come back, mm-hmm. uh, and which is why I wrote this. And actually, the very first story I wrote about this was a two part, like either season opener or season finale, based on lightning dust coming and attacking the main six in their hometown. Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Any fan fiction? Equestria, Equestria, Equestria! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, um, the next question will be, who is your non-pony waifu? Non-pony waifu? Oh. Ask the hard questions. Damn. Um... That is actually a really hard question. I don't have a lot of crushes. Is John Delancey your waifu? I mean, non-sexually, yes. There you go. All All right. right. I I wouldn't, like, it would be a a loveless, non-sexual marriage, but yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's, that's most marriages anyway, right? 
Fair enough. Let's do that. <laughs> after, after, like the, after like the first year, right? That is yeah. the definition of marriage. But you yeah, know, uh, for those of you interested, I actually do have links to the story of of how lightning dust um, exacts her revenge on Rainbow Dash for being expelled from the Wonderbolts. Oh, that'd be pretty awesome! Please do post. Please yeah, do. Yeah, yeah it, it it was inspired by um, Seventh Element's song "Black Lightning." Yeah. Which I, I have actually done an interview with Black Lightning um, on that. But, yeah, no, I wrote I wrote a two-part story about how... Basically, the, the story arc is, and this is like the season opener, and uh, Fiora has agreed to do the story arc with me, but I just kind of got caught up with a bunch of other bullshit, and we haven't moved forward on the actual stories of it. But mm-hmm. I, I wrote the... Um, the two-part opener of Lightning Dust's Revenge on Rainbow Dash. Cool. So I'll, I'll send you the link of it after this, and you guys can post it wherever you want. But Well, yeah, no, sure. In fact, uh, we have a special chat room in our BarCast Discord called the Promote Everything Chat. Uh, you can feel free to post that there, and especially for anyone out in the chat right now who's listening, wants to get a little extra boost in views or get a little extra... Um, advertisement feel free to post stuff into our promote everything chat Alrighty. but that yeah. said that is about all the time that we have for today um you promised me 17 hours no you also promised us your dick size but i don't hear that <laughs> uh no i promised that we would answer that at the end of the chat this is the end of the chat well then maybe you should ask me the question again What's your dick size? How Sexy. Dick? How big's your dick? My dick is just big enough. <laughs> Lame! Yes, yes. So, yes. So that does that make does that make the girls go ah? Well, let me put it this way: uh, nobody's ever complained. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair they enough. Can only complain when no one's there to complain. Exactly. Um, let's say eight and a half inches and a Coke can diameter. Oh, wow. Well, good for you. No, that wasn't actually meant to be sarcasm. It just sounded and, like that because I, I can't do a southern accent. Not <laughs> And how many degrees? I've got a Georgia peach in my mouth and I can't do anything else. Now, how many degrees does your penis lean to the left? Um, Straight up and enjoy that. Straight on to the... To the second star on the right, straight on till morning. <laughs> no, it's no, it's just straight on till morning. There's no second star to the right. <laughs> all right. Well, that said, that's all the time that we have for today. And Visibroni, thank you so much for coming on and spending some time with thank us. Thank you for having me. And uh, just as one final word, Equestria, 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 and Equestria, Equestria, Equestria. <laughs> Yay! We're going to go to the hospital. (laughs) Everyone be sure to tune in next week where we have Jake Wyman joining us. Wyman. Wyman. Why, though? Why, man? Why? Because because he's a wonderful video editor. But why, man? Oh, actually, actually, real quick before we go. Two things we didn't talk about were um, my videos. Okay. Uh, what do you want to talk about your videos? Yeah, if you, if, if you want to promote your stuff, now's a great opportunity. We'd love yeah, to I know. That. Just before you kick me out of your channel. <laughs> um, just so you guys are aware, uh, I did. Uh, you saw a video I did, which was like done in half an hour, and I'm not proud of my amazing editing talents of. <laughs> But for those of you who saw the previous video I did of uh, Equestrian Dreamscapes, which was the very outlandish theory of Discord's origins, uh, I do have another video coming out, which I had hoped to release today, but unfortunately due to several issues, did not come up. Mm. Uh, It should be released on Monday, barring any other problems. Uh, and hopefully you can enjoy that. Well, cool. Uh, we'll be sure to provide a uh, link to your YouTube 
and people will be able to go check it out. I would appreciate that. Uh, this one of the things I actually like most about my position on the Amino is that I get to promote other people's stuff. And most recently, I, I it's how I kind of got where I was, was writing really stupidly outlandish theories about pony theories right. and how insanely ridiculous they were and how they made a ridiculous amount of sense despite the fact that they were ridiculous. <laughs> like a conspiracy theory. Exactly. Mm. It's like, this makes absolutely no sense and yet it makes entirely too much sense. Why? <laughs> so Conspiracies of ponies. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you for tuning in and uh, make sure you listen to the Barcast post and pre to hear Yay! Thank you for watching this episode of the Barcast. This has been a non-pencil. It's so hot, you guys. An enigmatic otaku. You're not that hot. Can I leave the bathroom? Okay! Room? Now hold on a second! My girlfriend <laughs> is the hottest woman I have ever seen at a PonyCon. <laughs> oh, oh um, maybe you should actually go to a pony con i've gone to oh. at least eight five different ones across the country That's our show. Have a night, night, everyone. enigmatic otaku i want to leave the bathroom flamin warfer yeah. yeah ravage i am so unerect and this asshole invisibroni wait wait did we forget the lube my name's letter priest See you next week. Peace out. Oh, shit. I had to push the button. Yeah, you actually do this stuff. Okay, no, I got it. <laughs> Bye-bye! <laughs>